All right, so in this video we have um, some data, some XY data, and I want to draw a graph of this data. So I can just plot, scatter plot. Time is my x-axis. This log of concentration ratios is my y-axis, so chemists will recognize this as a first order um, integrated rate law plot. So what we have here is a plot of log of concentrations against time. And normally what we want to do is get the slope of this line so that we can calculate the rate constant. So if I go to analysis fitting linear fit and open up the dialog, default is fine, I'll just press OK. So it's giving me this linear fit of this curve. However, very commonly in kinetic analysis, we can see here that at later times, the concentration ratios, the log is starting to plateau off. This is because the reaction is proceeding um, for quite a while. So it's probably deviating now from first order conditions. So very often we actually want to get not the slope of the entire line, but of that component to which, uh, until which it stops de starts to deviate. Um, but we want to show all our data. So what I want to do is actually just get the slope of this line from here to about here. And the way to do that is to choose this selection on active plot button. So if I click there and click maybe to about there, that's really where it's um, continuing. And then this is really where it's starting to level off. Do the same thing again, analysis, fitting, linear fit. I'll open the dialog just to show here, it's going rows 1 to 12 now. Okay, so it's not taking in all 16 rows of data. It's leaving out those last four points. And press OK. So what this is doing is, and I'll just maybe make this line here slightly thicker so we can see it. And maybe make it blue or something. What we can see is this second line. is slightly steeper than the first because it's not being skewed away by these final few points. And if we compare, for example, the R squared value with all of the data with the R squared value of our um, selected data, we can say that's better. So that's a good argument perhaps for saying we should just take the selected data. But most importantly, what we'll need is the slope. We can see here the slope is getting steeper. It's going from 0076 to 0085. So this is giving us some data that we can report and say, well, if we take all of this the data, including the bit where it's skewed off, this is our slope. If we take just a bit where it's linear, this is our slope. So this is giving us perhaps a more accurate representation of what the true slope is for the section of the reaction where it is truly first order. So the trick in all of this is to choose this selection on active plot button.